split squat to pads. Using a pair of pads can be very valuable when you're trying to work on your split squat stability, depth, and control, but you're also trying to protect those joints as you're going. And so I've got a couple of pads here that I'm lowering my body to. I do actually rest on into it, and then I use that glute power, quad power, to drive back on up and through. Now, what I end up doing here is I set up so that my hips are shoulder width apart. So I don't want to be on a balance beam. I want some space so that I can target evenly as I'm going. And then as I lower, I'm thinking, take a knee, because that is literally what I'm doing. So what is the most comfortable position for taking a knee? It would be that my entire torso is vertical, so it's stacked directly over this knee. So I don't want that knee to be too close up in near my other foot or too far back. So it's perfectly straight underneath me. The other thing is my shin here on the front leg is going to be nice and straight as well. Too much of a vertical angle, too much past a vertical angle could cause some knee issues. Once I have perfected going with two pads or three pads, wherever you're at, we want to continually think, can I get less and less as I'm going? Now I do make nice tight fists here so that I'm creating tension through my upper body. The stiffer and more rigid my upper body is, the more likely I am going to have that power as that weight distribution transfers for me to be able to stand on up. 